Today's lesson is about dot product of vectors. One way of multiplying two vectors is to find the dot product. The dot product of vectors, vector a and a vector b, is written as a vector a dot vector b. To find the dot product of two vectors, multiply the corresponding components and add them up. For example, vector v times vector w equals v1 w1 plus v2 w2 plus v3 w3. Remember, the dot product is also called the scalar product because the result is a, the scalar, not a vector. Let's look at another concept, angle between two vectors. The dot product is used to find the angle between two vectors when they are placed tail to tail. The formula is this. Remember, this is very, very important. If you want to figure out the angle between two vectors, make sure this is a tail to tail. So go this way and go this way. If a theta is the angle between vectors v and a w, then this is, will be true. If a theta is acute, we know cosine theta is positive. So the dot product of a v and a w will be positive. If a theta is obtuse, cosine theta is negative. So the dot product of a v times w will be negative. The angle between two vectors is always between 0 to 180 degree. What if this theta equals 90 degree? We know cosine theta equals 0. In other words, this is equal to zero. From this uh, rational equation, we will draw a conclusion that uh, dot product of uh, two vector a and uh, b equals zero. As we know, when theta equals 90 means uh, these two vector perpendicular to each other. Therefore, when the dot product of a two vector equals zero means uh, these two vector perpendicular to each other. So remember this. Now let's go over some more objects for this uh, section. You really need to know how to identify parallel lines. When we have a uh, two vectors, I can write down vector d1 equals k times vector d2. We know k is uh, all real numbers. Then we can draw a conclusion that uh, d1 parallel to d2. If uh, the dot product of uh, vector d1 and a d2 equals zero, which means uh, these two vector perpendicular to each other. Now let's go to guided practice one. Given vector p equals uh, this, that's a unit vector form, and a q equals this one. Find p times a q. This is dot product of a p and a q. We know the formula that will be corresponding component multiply. So we have two, this is negative one, we have four. This will be negative one, negative four, and a two. Corresponding do the multiplication. Therefore, we have two times negative one plus negative one times negative four plus 4 
times the two. So we work this out. Negative two plus four plus eight equals ten. That's for A. For B, we need to figure out the angle. We know the cosine theta equals dot product of P times Q over magnitude of P times magnitude of Q. Therefore, I plug into the formula. P times Q, we already got the 10. Magnitude of P, we're doing x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Therefore, I have 2 squared plus negative 1 squared plus 4 squared times square root. Negative 1 square plus negative 4 square plus 2 square. So we calculate we got 10 over square root of 21 times square root of 21. So we get the 10 over 21. Therefore, the theta you will get uh, inverse of uh, 10 over 21. We put into a calculator, we will get theta will be 61.56 degree. Let's go to guided practice to find t if these two vectors are perpendicular vectors. Therefore, suppose this is a vector A and this is a vector B. Then vector A times vector B equals zero. Remember the corresponding component multiply to each other. Then you add them up equal to zero. So negative four multiplied by T, that's a negative four T plus T plus two times 1 plus t plus negative 3 times t, that's a negative 3t. You will get equal to 0. Let's organize. This will be the FOIL. So we have negative 4t plus t plus t squared plus 2 plus 2t minus 3t equal to 0. We know this is a quadratic pattern equation. Therefore, we want to get zero. It's already zero. Therefore, we combine like terms. Have t squared. Then this is a cancel. Minus 4t plus 2 equal to zero. When you solve this uh, quadratic equation, definitely we try factor first. If it doesn't work, we got to use a quadratic formula. This uh, quadratic equation we cannot uh, figure out uh, by factoring. Therefore, we do a equals 1, b equals negative 4, c equals 2. We know that t equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. This formula, you will find it on the formula booklet. Now we plug in. You will get 4 plus or minus square root. Negative 4 squared, that's a 16. Minus 4 times 1 times 2. So we get 8 here. Then 2 times 1. We organize. You will get the 4 plus or minus square root 8 over 2. Square root of 8, we can do 4 times 2, so we get 2 square root of 2. 4 plus or minus 2 square root of 2 over 2. Then this time reduce, make sure every term 
can be divided by 2. Therefore, we got 2 plus or minus the square root of 2. This will be the final answer. In other words, we have uh, two solutions uh, to this t. Let's go to guided practice uh, 3. We have a, b, c are uh, vertices of a triangle a, b, c, which is right angled at b. Find the value of uh, c. So we draw a right angle. We label this is b, this is a, here's a c. This is a right angle. In other words, we know the a, b perpendicular to b, c. But for the vectors, make sure this is the tail. This is arrow. Arrow. I can write down b, a. Vector b, a times vector b, c equal to zero. But how you get the vector b, a? Since you are given the coordinate now. From the coordinate, how to remember? That's uh, easy. Ending minus uh, starting. Ending is a. So I have uh, a here is uh, 4, 2, negative 1. Minus uh, b, that's negative 1, 5, and a 2. So for this vector, you will get change the sign. Here's plus, positive, minus, minus. Then it's easy for you to work this out. 5, negative 3, negative 3. For BC, still easy. Ending that's a C minus a B. So C will be 3, negative 3, C, minus B, we got negative 1, 5, and a 2. Still, when you do the subtraction, we turn into addition, change the sign. It's uh, easy to figure out. So we will get 4, negative 8 and uh, c minus 2. Then we will make a vector b a times vector b c equal to 0. The corresponding component multiplication. Therefore, we do 4 times 5, negative 3 times negative 8, and a negative 3 times a c minus 2. 5 times 4 plus negative 3 times negative 8 plus negative 3 times a c minus 2 equal to 0. 5 times a 4, that's 20, plus 24. Distributed property, negative 3c plus 6 equal to 0. Combine like terms you will get 50 minus 3c equal to 0. This is a linear pattern equation, so isolate the variable on one side. 50 equals 3c divided by 3. c equals 50 over 3. That's it. For this question, remember, when you want to use uh, this uh, formula, vector multiply equal to zero, make sure that vector is a uh, tail to tail here. Now let's go to guided practice four. The following diagram shows uh, quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Vector A, B, equals vector bc and a vector ab equals uh, 3 1 vector ac equals uh, 4 4 first of all find the vector 
BC. Since you are not given the coordinate, we are given the vector. Therefore, for A, vector BC, I can write down vector. I get started from this uh, B. B A plus A C. You don't have to look at this diagram. It just uh, remember that get that from B B A A C or B D D C and so on. So for B A will be opposite of for vector A B. Object which means the uh, object of uh, each component. Therefore, I have negative 3, negative 1, plus AC is the same, 4, 4. So we add this together. Negative 3 plus 4, that's 1. Negative 1 plus 4, that's uh, 3. Show that BD, vector BD equals negative 2 and a 2. Let's check BD. BD is this one. So from the starting point, I can do vector BA and add vector AD. So for B, we know the vector BD equals vector BA plus vector AD. According to the given information, vector AD equals vector BC. So we just uh, need to plug in. For the vector BA, it's given here. So we get negative 3, negative 1 plus vector AD, that's BC, 1, 3. Add together, you will get negative 2, 2. So we finish proving. For IB exam, whenever C show that, just work that out. Now let's go to C. Show that vector BD and CA are perpendicular, which means we need to prove for vector BD dot vector CA equals 0. We already figured out um, vector BD and the vector CA is just the opposite of uh, AC. So we do multiplication. Vector BD, that's negative 2, 2. Multiply. Vector CA, that's the uh, opposite of uh, AC. Therefore, we get negative 4, negative 4. Then we do dot product corresponding component multiply negative 2 times negative 4 plus 2 times negative 4. Get 8 plus negative 8 equal to 0. So BD perpendicular to CA. Let's go to guided practice 5. The following diagram shows the obtuse angled triangle ABC such that AB and AC are given. For A, write down BA. We know the vector BA equals negative vector AB. Therefore, each component get its uh, object. We have 3, 0, 4. For second one, find the BC. Now vector BC equals vector. We can use that uh, BA and AC. Vector BA plus vector AC. BA, we will get 3, 0, 4. Now plus vector AC is given here. 
negative 2 to negative 6. So we work this out, you will get 1, 2, negative 2. For the B, find the cosine A, B, C. So we have cosine A, B, C. A, B, C. This is a B. So we need to figure out that uh, vector B, A, and B, C. Therefore, I can write down B, A multiplied by vector B, C. Then we need to get the magnitude of a vector A, B times the magnitude of a vector B, C. Now we plug in corresponding component multiply 3 times 1 plus 0 times 2 plus 4 times negative 2 and a square root we have 3 square plus 0 square plus 4 square times square root 1 square plus 2 square plus negative 2 square so we get this is a 3 plus 0 minus 8 denominator we got the this is a square root of 25 that's 5 times this is a 9 square root of 9 is a 3 so we get negative 1 over 3. Now for second question, we need to figure out uh, that uh, sine angle A, B, C. So sine angle A, B, C. As we know, sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals 1. Therefore, sine square theta equals 1 minus cosine square theta. I need to isolate this uh, sine square theta. Then we do square root of both sides. Don't forget plus or minus. So we get the sine theta equals plus or minus square root of 1 minus cosine square theta. We got to use this formula to figure out uh, the sine A, B, C. That means uh, equals square root 1 minus cosine square angle A, B, C. Since the cosine is a negative, which means angle A, B, C is an obtuse angle because this is the angle in a triangle. For obtuse angle, this angle ABC will be between 90 to 180. Second quadrant, your sign is a positive. That's why I put a positive here. Then I need to plug in. You will get square root 1 minus negative 1 over 3 square. So you get 1 minus 1 over 9. That is the square root 8 over 9. So simplify 2 square root of 2 over 3. Remember this formula. From this formula, we also know that cosine theta equals plus or minus square root 1 minus sine square theta. Is it positive or negative? You decide by yourself according to the specific question. Now let's go to C. The point D is uh, such that vector CD equals negative 4, 5P. P is positive. Given that uh, magnitude of a vector CD equals square root of 50, show that P equals uh, 3. For magnitude of a 
vector C D equals、uh, square root of fifty. We got to use this、uh, equation. As we know, if vector A equals x, y, z, then magnitude of vector A equals square root x square plus y square plus z square. Therefore, for magnitude of for vector C D equals negative four square plus five square plus p square. It will be equal square root of fifty. We need to solve this equation. First of all, square both sides to get rid of a square root. Sixteen plus twenty-five plus p square equals fifty. This is a power pattern equation. You need to isolate the p square on one side. So we minus twenty-five minus sixteen both sides. We get p square equals nine. Then we do square root both sides. Since p is positive, therefore p equals three. For c second one, show that vector c d is perpendicular to vector b c. Remember when we want to prove for two vectors are perpendicular to each other, we only need to prove for. The dot product of these two vectors equals to zero. Therefore, vector C D times the vector B C that equals. We know vector C D that's negative four, five, and three. Vector B C we already got from here. That is one, two, negative two. Dot product of two vectors. We need to multiply the corresponding components and add them up. So we have a negative four times one plus five times two plus three times negative two. That is negative four plus ten minus six equal to zero. So. Vector C D perpendicular to vector B C. We finish proof.